Let's go to the headlines that I saw that I'm kind of digging. Three on three, baby. Let's go. Number one, Bruce Arians. Bruce Arians, this is a great headline. Bruce Arians on Buccaneers' loss to Washington. We're a very dumb football team. Is there anything better than that? Let me ask you a question. Is there anything better than a coach, B.A., saying we're just dumb? Now, this is a team that has Tom Brady on it. I love, love, hey, man, we're a very dumb football team. Now, here's what you get into, right? So many coaches are so afraid to coach their team. We're just a very dumb football team. I know we got Tom Brady. In fact, Arians in the article said, uh, this one on his receivers. I love this. I love this because so many coaches, when players stink, when they suck, say, hey, that's on me. Chicken blank coaches make me puke. Bruce Arians makes me want to have a whiskey and a cigar. Another one, and this on the surface isn't anything, except let me go under the surface. Minnesota Timberwolves find $250,000 for player activities in Miami area this September. Basically what this is, is you got a team that is not allowed to be paid. In the NBA, you're not allowed as an owner to pay for activity, workouts, stuff like that in the offseason. Ordinarily, who cares, right? But you know who the owner is? You know where the players were at? Alex effing Rodriguez, the worst human being slash athlete of all time. Nonviolent crime division. Nonviolent crime division. But when you knowingly cheat the game like A-Rod did, you knowingly lie about it like A-Rod did, you knowingly throw it off onto a cousin like A-Rod did, then you knowingly cheat the game again, then you threaten to sue the league, you tell me who's worse. Nobody. Zero. Nada. Ask any NF, excuse me, ask any Major League Baseball player or coach that you know. Every one of them wants to puke that Alex Rodriguez, who cheated the game, lied about it, tried to sue Major League Baseball, now is the most powerful voice on television in Major League Baseball. He's on ESPN Sunday night, he's in studio on Fox, and it makes every single baseball person puke. And... By the way, he's horse bleep on all of it. If you can't see A-Rod is a freaking fraud, then I don't know what in the hell to tell you. (sighs) Anyway, so now this clown goes and becomes the owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves, and in typical Alex Rodriguez fashion, can't follow the rules. On the surface, it don't matter. It's just beautiful because once a clown, always a clown. I love working for OutKick number three for my three-on-three. I love it. I do. It's freeing. Free at last. Free at last. And I love this headline. Much like feet, Rex Ryan can't get Robert Sala's name out of his mouth. Now, much like feet, what does that mean? What are you talking about? Well, Rex Ryan, when he was the head coach of the New New York Jets, it came out that Rex Ryan had a foot fetish. Now, let me explain something to you. A lot of people have fetishes. A lot of people, and you're seeing it right there on our screen, a lot of people have these things, right? Lots of people. You've got all kinds of fetishes. You've got some weird fetishes. The foot fetish is easy, right? So you never want to be the guy where they say, hey, when they think of you in a negative way, they think the old foot fetish. Who the hell wants to be the guy that's known as having a fetish? I don't think anybody really does. Oh, boy, there I go. But at the end of the day, 
when you have been the guy that has a foot fetish, people go make fun of you. And Rex Ryan is that guy. Now, full disclosure, I love Rex Ryan. I think on that ESPN show, Rex Ryan is the only interesting person. I, I think he is. But Anthony Ferris on our OutKick network here puts out this. Now, why is there a problem between Rex Ryan and Robert Sala? Well, you know Rex Ryan was the head coach uh, of the New York Jets. In his first couple of years, they went to the AFC Championship game with uh, Mark Sanchez as a quarterback. And Rex Ryan, whatever you want to say about him, always had a good defense. Top 11 all time. It's all in this article. Robert Sala came over with what was supposed to be a defensive mind, and he was compared to Rex Ryan. Robert Sala's defense, never as good as the media made it out to be, but Robert Sala uh, is a great guy by all accounts and a hardworking guy, and he's diverse. So the media does what? The media loves him because that's what the media does. Rex Ryan didn't like the comparison. Rex Ryan did not feel that the comparison of Robert Sala and his defensive acumen even remotely compared to his, so he was critical. Now, here's what you got to understand. Here's what's really going on here. When you leave a job that you don't want to leave in sports, manager, coach, head coach, whatever, it's human nature to want the guy that replaces you to do badly. Bob Knight, to this day, Wants everybody at Indiana to fail. I went through it at Bowling Green for a couple years. I went through it at Indiana for a year or two. Now I don't care. You get, you're on to other things. But Rex Ryan is still in that stage where he does not want whoever is running the Jets operation as the head coach to be successful. That's why Robert Sala's name, I guess, I, know, I don't ever know how to say this, name is in Rex Ryan's mouth. And I love it. I absolutely see. I'm a big Rex Ryan fan. First time I heard Rex Ryan, I was driving. I forget when it was, but I was listening to him, I think, on Mad Dog on Sirius. And I just thought he was great. And now I watch him on TV and I watch, you know, Randy Moss is crying. He's fake tears. Sam Ponder. Everybody's got all this bull uh, Shavik that they're saying and doing. And Rex Ryan just sits there and tells you like it is. Now, it'll be a minute, and then Rex Ryan will be fired from there, I'm sure. But at least he's one guy on that show that isn't trying to sell us stupid. Isn't, you know, oh, there's a, Randy Moss, there's a 10-year-ago email. Oh, shut up. So those are my three-on-three. If you see a really good headline, like if you see a headline that you like, uh, I need, I forget all the time, don't at me the show at gmail.com. You see a headline, hit me with it. I love me some headlines. Love it.